www.thecreativeminimalist.com It doesn't matter if you put the t t p h t t p in front or not. It should still work. That's the wonder of the internet. Isn't it amazing the advances in science that we have come across? Yes, why are you talking about science, Darren? What's science got to do with your journaling? Where's your journey? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, I was down the shops the other day and this wonderful book, this wonderful book was available at a vastly reduced price, a really vastly reduced price. Um, it's hardback, and so I thought, oh yes, that will be great. That'll be wonderful. Look, I can find out all about stuff. There's some wonderful pictures and information and everything in it. I'll become a scientific genius, just like Professor Brian Cox. Uh, look at his pretty little face there, and his lovely hair. He's such a clever professor. Um, now, I've got nothing against Brian Cox, nothing against him. Even if he did write that things will only get better, and that's a complete lie as entropy will tell you. Anyway, I've got nothing against him, but I, do I really want his face on the front of a book? It's such a good book, but I don't really, I, I didn't want, I, I didn't want his face, so I could put my hand on it all the time whenever I'm looking at the cover, but I have other things to do, like journals to fill in. But I thought, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look, it's got a dust cover. The books are hardback, so it's got a dust cover, which is great. And I thought, oh, yes, it's a hardback. It's got a dust cover. So all I can do is take off the dust cover and I'll be left with one of those lovely cloth, cloth bound hardback books that we all love. No, look, it's Brian Cox again. He's everywhere with his lovely little face and his lovely little hair. He's everywhere. But so I just couldn't get away from his face. And what makes it worse is that this hardback cover is absolutely horrible. It's just shiny with nothing on there at all. I mean, the uh, dust sheet, dust cover, that's on there is lovely it's a matte matte finish and it's got spot uv varnish on it as well i don't know if you can see that up there but look look there's a patterns in spot varnish oh it's it's so lovely um why am i telling you this i, I don't know actually i don't know why i'm telling you this apart from the fact that this cover may get altered Altering books is something that I do, that I enjoy, and that I get a lot out of. And if it means destroying Professor Brian Cox's face, it's such a lovely face, I know, but I don't really want to look at it all the time. Some of you may, and if you want, you can start one of those online petitions. For change.org stop Darren from destroying Brian Cox's face on his book cover that's always something that could be done anyway what have you been up to Darren this week apart from getting annoyed at book covers uh, well lots and lots very productive week very productive week indeed got a lot done and um, my patron is now updated so if you like any music that you hear any music at all you can get hold of any of that music on my patreon a small support a small donation just between one to five dollars a month would get you tons and tons of music all this music that you're listening to in the background like this is all available and um, 
but I had good fun doing that and updating Patreon. Um, lots of nice videos and learning lots of video as well. Learning lots of video techniques. I think I've got hay fever uh, if I sound a bit nasally. Um, but that was that was really good. I enjoyed the video. Um, and in fact, let's have some video now. It's this sort of thing. Did you enjoy that? I better check the date that I'm putting on there. I don't know what time of the day it is most of the time, so even if I don't have a date. So what am I doing today? My well, Sunday. I shouldn't really be doing this until I need to change the date that I'm doing these videos. I want a day off. I want a day off a week. Saturday or Sunday. I want two days off a week. <laughs> I want the week off. I wanna just work one day. You know, like all these all these solo Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who just work half an hour in the morning and then spend their time on a beach in Bali all day. It does happen apparently, it's true. That's all they do. Half an hour in the morning and then spend the rest of the day taking photos in Bali and posting them on Instagram. I know, I know, I've seen them. It's true. I've seen it on the internet. That's all they do. Half an hour's work. If that. Passive income. Search engine optimization. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that coffee's nice. I've been writing lists. Look. Promoting stuff. Uh, sorted out my filing system on my computers as well so I mean, oh I did so much this week no wonder I've got a hay fever nasal a nasal thing oh actually it's been ages since I've changed anything in my bullet journal but I think I feel a change coming on I've had these for ages this little this pack of again in the sale, in the shop. You gotta look around, you gotta look around. Gotta look around for bargains. Bargains is what's wonderful. Um, but found these, I love this below, these little fine markers. Um, but this little pack has been sitting around and I've not used it, not used it. Um, but I think I'm finding the urge to use it and I've got a funny feeling. I've got a funny feeling that not having changed around my bullet journal for a while I may be going colour coding I may go colour coding look let me show you this I may go colour coding so I may change my key but look that's the best bullet journal I've ever invented the zen bullet <laughs> That's a bit more of that coming up in um, Planarchy. What's Planarchy, I hear you ask? You know what Planarchy is, I'm always going on about it. Uh, I'm using Planarchy this month as my uh, weekly to view thing. Uh, links down below. Links down below. Um, so this was this was this week's spread um, this is this is the sort of thing I do I love barcodes not enough barcodes in the world that's what I say unless you do you remember there was a, some extreme Christian group Saying that barcodes, the numbers added up to 666 somehow. And barcodes were the sign of the Antichrist. 
it's, it's all true. I, I saw it on, actually, I didn't see that on the internet. I saw it on the TV years back, when I, when I used to watch the television. Sorry, I'm really enjoying this coffee. Oh, no. It's gone long already. Um, but that's my week. So I did plenty of stuff on there. Lots of stickers. All the stickers that come that you can get from Planarchy. Uh, my month to view. Going quite well. And so I'm going to plan next week in a little while. So that was what I wanted to do. Put all my stickers into there. And that was what this pen was for because it will be the 15th to oh, I've not used this pen before 15th to the oh, talking away and I've forgotten what day it goes up to 15th to the 21st and I can plan plan this week away so that's today's today's job there which I shall get on and do have I been doing anything else uh, no let's um keeping my um Moleskine journal going plenty of stuff on there um just playing around with the uh, inks and paints and things um I'm trying to trying to develop some sort of visual visual style. Oh, started to read. Finally, I've had it for ages. Um, but Feral by George George Monbiot or George Monbiot. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What matters is what he says. Very good. Um, the, just the concept of rewilding the land, the sea, and human life. Um, but it's one of those books where I'm reading it, and I'm reading it with the highlighter because I'm highlighting so much of it as I go through. I uh, love this image. Found it somewhere online, so printed out a copy, and I've been playing, not trying, not necessarily copying the image. Um, although, although this one is very similar, Darren, come on, I mean, uh, how how much plagiarism can there be in art? I mean, uh, just look at Darren's work that he's, he's been doing here. Um, I'm not really, I'm not trying to copy. This is my rough journal ideas. I'm trying ideas, but I'm trying, we're trying to work out how to make sort of cloudy, um, and dark contrasting smoky effects with inks and paints so this was one one of the versions or one of the things that i've done on there but i've also been doing it on um procreate the app on the ipad which has been been quite interesting as well so i've got hundreds of these sort of type images on very in various things in my art my proper proper art journal my ordinary art and my ordinary journal here so I'm trying those things out um, and that's because that's because boys and girls I've been so productive in my other stuff during the week that I've allowed myself to play to play a little um, I think that's it I think I better call it a day um, and say goodbye to Mr. Darky Shadow Mr. Darky Shadow Monster I don't want to leave you with the thought that there's horrible things in the world. I want to leave you with the thought that there are happy things. There are happy things out there. Especially in this time of general elections in the UK. Voting, concern and fear. Don't let the media fear you. Don't let them guide you and corral you into a life of where you don't want to step outside your front door, where you're wary of everyone. Yeah, there are there are nasty people. There are bad people, but the majority of people aren't. And they're good. And they're lovely. And we should love them. And we should care. And we should all be happy. 
that's my view, that's my opinion. Call me naive if you want. But I think the world needs a bit more positivity than negativity. He says with his black journals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, time to go, I think. This is Darren, the Creative Minimalist. www.thecreativeminimalist.com You know that by now. Saying goodbye. Have a wonderful week. And stay positive. Live love. Live love. Love life. I will just smile. Smile at the next person you see. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.